earnings calls are fun. What do we actually want Jack Dorsey to do? What are we waiting for? Yeah, I think right now, Brendan, what a lot of people are waiting for is, frankly, an update related to what Twitter's vision is going to be, mm -hmm. and frankly, who the CEO is going to be. Yeah. It's really not clear, and I think people expected Jack Dorsey yesterday to kind of indicate that he really wasn't in the running for that permanent role. That wasn't stated. I think people have concerns about that. Could he run two companies at once? He's also obviously head of Square. Um, I think it's unlikely, and Twitter put out a release a couple of weeks ago indicating that they didn't want essentially a part-time CEO. So that, to a large extent, in my opinion, takes Jack Dorsey out of the running. You mentioned in your note a shift to international where a lot of their revenue comes from. Do you see that as a strategic shift that they could take, or do they need to get more fundamentals right first? Well, I think international is very key. If you look at MAU growth, there wasn't any in the U.S. All that came from overseas. Mm -hmm. And if you think about Twitter, what really astounds me is the sentiment is negative. People focus on the user growth, but the reality is they grew revenue 61% X, uh, 4X, you're talking about 68%. This is a healthy growth company that's not okay. getting its message So it's across. an acquisition candidate. They can't figure out how to make money. They got growth flat. Revenues are booming. It says to me, Google. Is Google the natural acquirer? Well, Tom, if you think that there's going to be an acquisition here, Google would make a lot of sense, perhaps SoftBank. But the reality is that I don't know that people should be banking on an acquisition. There's a lot of value right here, mm -hmm. and the sentiment provides that opportunity. What good, Scott, is Periscope? We're periscoping right now, and it's a lot of fun, but can it make any money? You know, can it draw in massive amounts of viewers? It's early days, Vani, and it's fair to say that people are interested in and they're engaging with Periscope like we are right now. Obviously, Brennan, you referenced the fact that, in fact, the call yesterday was Periscoped. And I think thousands of people turned in to see that. This is, though, in its nascency, mm -hmm. and monetization is probably a while down the road. Yeah, but I, how, how long do they have to play the Twitter game versus adult companies that have to actually show some free cash flow? Yeah, I think that's fair, Tom. Quarters? I think if you look next year, I mean, we're looking at kind of 60 to 70 cents in earnings. That's not insignificant. A 50 multiple where the stock is trading now, I think that's very attractive given the growth that we just talked about of revenues over 60 percent in the last quarter. Uh, there was a, a note from a, uh, a Twitter uh, shareholder uh, about two months ago saying they need to do two things. One is focus on events and two is just finally kill the timeline. Are those things going to happen? I doubt it, honestly. Um, they are focusing on events. That's one thing that, without question, is an emphasis. They just yeah. announced an events-related product. Project Lightning is coming. That's going to be around events. But to Tom's timeline. obsession, how does that make money? That drives engagement, but how does it make money? So if you can organize users and engagement around events, that's going to enable more targeted, more effective advertising. We think it's actually going to be a very, very good strategy for them. And how strong is Facebook this week? We see the struggles of Twitter. I saw Google Plus is going to step away from competing uh, with Facebook. You don't have automatic sign-up of Google Plus. I mean, the answer is this is the moment for Facebook, right? It is. Everyone is watching for Facebook to see what they're going to do. I think expectations have been tempered a little bit. We've seen the stock pull in. But the reality is that we think Facebook is firing on all cylinders. Yeah. It's a strong growth company. They have a lot of levers to accelerate gains. And I think right. people underappreciate really what they've been able to do. Shout out to okay. David Kirkpatrick, who never gave up on Facebook and the gloom there of Facebook after the IPO Kirkpatrick. Can I just say you were periscoping, Tom? I was, I was periscoping. I was I don't get it. Thank, Thank you. you know, Scott Kessler of S&P Capital IQ for humoring us as we periscoped and meerkatted him and filmed him at the same time.